Yes, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to get consistent payouts from your prop firm because it's a fact that only a very small percentage of traders actually gets a payout. Today I want to give you the strategy to join that club. So let's get started. Now after today you will know what you've been doing wrong regarding prop trading, why most traders don't get a payout and the best way to get consistent prop firm payouts. Now before I go to the next slide, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to share more strategies to get consistent prop firm payouts so you don't want to miss those. Let's dive into today's sheet. So what you need to get prop firm payouts. And on the right, you can see this diagram, but let's start with one thing first. You need the right prop firm. Maybe two, maybe you want to diversify, but please stick with a prop firm that has good reputation. There are a lot of new prop firms out there and they have these crazy discounts, low prices, and it seems good, but then they don't pay out. So get a good prop firm, one or two, and focus on maxing them out first. You need one strategy that has an edge, at least one, preferably more. If you don't have a working strategy, a working frame to make money in the markets, don't apply to funding because you will lose the account. Maybe because you get lucky, you get a payout, but it's not going to be consistent. The next thing is that you need the mental skill to cope with drawdowns because you're going to lose accounts, you're going to fail prop firm challenges and you're going to have drawdowns. Develop the skill to cope with them before applying. And then you need a solid strategy for payouts. Now, the first thing, like I said, pick a good prop firm. Look at the rules. Are they good? Do they fit the rules? Do they fit your trading rules? Are they fair? How is their reputation? Do they have good reviews? Are they transparent about the owner and other types of things? Now, for example, let's take a look at the reviews of Next Step Funded. You have to assume that most prop firms buy fake good reviews and that's almost every prop firm out there. It's very easy to do. So don't look at the positive ones, look at the negative ones. This prop firm has 294 reviews and 70 are one star reviews complaining that they don't pay out. Swaps are high, costs are high, slippage is high. Look at those 70. So there's not just one or two person complaining, 70 people complaining. That's just not what you want. So when you look at a prop firm, check their bad reviews, see if they make sense, see if it's a recurring thing. For example, with this firm, you don't want to trade with such firms. That brings me to why most people don't get a payout. And first of all, they trade without an edge. So my question to you right now, be honest with yourself. Do you have a properly working strategy or method? If not, don't apply for a prop firm. Don't risk too much. Most people risk two or three percent when the maximum drawdown is ten percent. You have one losing streak and the account is gone. You want to find balance between a risk and risk of ruin when it comes to prop firm accounts. And most people treat it as a gamble, a big gamble, hoping for the big payout uh, and then risking too much. Bad trading behavior, that why, that's why they don't get a payout. So my question to you is, are you one of those people that has these bad trading behaviors when it comes to challenges and getting payouts? If that's the case, think about that and fix it. It's not a big gamble, it's a business. And later on, I will share with you a business approach to consistent payouts and that brings me to this assuming that you have an edge and the right mindset to deal with bad periods these are the two things that you need to be working on getting the right firm and risk building a risk plan and a business plan and I'm gonna show you an example right now all right so what you can see right here is a hypothetical example of a prop firm and how you want to approach that so let's take a look at this so Prop firm X has the following rules. 100K account is gonna cost you 500 euros. The maximum drawdown once you get funded is gonna be 10%. The payout split is 75% and you need five days before you get a payout. Once you get your first payout, you're gonna get a refund of what you paid. Let's assume for this example that 30% of the challenges that you do, you actually succeed and you get a payout. So three out of 10 challenges, you get a refund and a payout. The other seven, unfortunately, you're gonna lose. Let's assume that, quite realistic for most people. And then let's do the math. So 10 challenges is gonna cost you 5,000 euros. 
You pass three, which is gonna give you three times 500, which you paid for the challenges, 1500 in refunds. That brings you to paying 3,500 in total. So you paid this, you got this refund. Net cost is gonna be 3,500 euros. Let's assume that you can make 4% on each of the accounts that you pass, which is the three accounts, and you get a 75% payout. That's gonna be 9,000. Net result, 5,500 euros in profit. This is a very simplified example, but this is the approach that you need to take when you're gonna go for pop films. And there are a few things I wanna to add to this. Focus on getting a refund. So let's say you get your challenge and you need to trade five trading days before you can apply for a payout and before you can get the refund. Don't be the guy that goes balls deep, risking way too much, blowing up the account in three days, not getting a payout, losing the account and not getting your refund. That's ridiculous. So focus on, okay, I'm gonna trade for the five days, then I can get a payout. I'm gonna make sure at least I get my refund. Focus on that. And then focus on just getting payouts as quickly as possible. If after five trading days, you're in 3% profit, don't start building that account up. Get your payout, wait a week, then trade again after you get the payout. Because if you continue trading with profits that you made, after you can already get a payout but you don't pay out you're risking your own money and if you pay it out then you're risking again the firm's money their drawdown so it's very very important that you continue focusing on getting refunds and getting payouts and yes with this way even one of the accounts that you have maybe is going to blow up but if you take a look at it like this from this view seeing it as a business seeing this as your business expenses and then just doing the numbers, you see that this is a profitable approach. And the numbers for you might look different. Maybe your success rate is higher. Maybe you can get more than 4% return on average before you get a payout. Whatever it is, what I wanna tell you is that make a clear overview, make a sort of business plan, risk plan. How much are you gonna risk? When are you gonna get a payout? When is this account ready for a payout? When is that account ready for a payout? Make a solid plan, do the math, Look at the numbers and make sure it's a positive one. And in this case, it's gonna be a positive number. So make a sheet like this for yourself, fill in the rules for your prop firm, do the analysis, do the, do the math, and see how you can get consistent payouts. And with this, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna lose challenges. I accounted for that. And making an overview like this is gonna help you mentally prepare. I know based on this, statistic i'm going to lose seven out of ten challenges and knowing that beforehand and knowing that still after the fact you're in profit that's really going to help you mentally then when you lose a challenge you don't really care because it's about the big picture the portfolio the business plan that you created so make something like this for yourself i can't stress it enough now let's go back to the slides so this is basically the end of this short video. Now, before you leave, one more thing. I've given you quite some information and I know that most people watching this video are not gonna do anything with it. Be the exception, make the plan. Even like, if you wanna want me to check the plan, please send it to me. Like you have my email address, it's on my website. Um, build your plan, send it to me via email. I don't care, but please take action because I see so many people lose money with prop firms, with bad prop firms, with not having a plan, not being consistent. And it doesn't have to be that way. Let's all work together, build a plan and make sure that you can make money that way. So you know exactly how to do it, how to get the payouts. Thank you for watching. Um, like and subscribe to help the channel. If you have any questions, comments, whatever it is, comment down below and I will respond. Have a great day. See you next time.